Hi, I'm Yoram Solomon. Welcome back. Today I'm going to answer a question that I have received several times and that is, you know, I'm showing you all of my OBS stuff and, and all the cameras that I use. And in fact, uh, I think I showed you the studio that I'm using here for Zoom meetings and webinars uh, when I deliver uh, virtually. And you can see there are cameras and microphones. There's one, two, three, four five cameras that, that I use on different angles, different scenes, microphone here, I have a microphone on me, so, and then there's OBS and everything else. And uh, I was asked if you have a strong enough computer, how do you know if your computer is strong enough? And so this is what I'm going to talk about today. I'm going to show you where you find if your computer, if your, <laughs> how well does your computer handle the pressure uh, and does it handle it well? Now, uh, I'm using OBS, I'm using NDI, several plugins into OBS that I'll talk about in future videos. Uh, there are two browser windows that I have uh, open in different uh, windows here. Uh, there's PowerPoint, uh, Stream Deck, and, and other things that uh, might be open uh, as we speak. Multiple screens, not to mention that. So, can my computer handle this? So I'm just going to show you now how to figure out if your computer is handling it. And uh, in a future video, I'm going to record a video on how to choose a computer if you need to upgrade a computer um, for different purposes, for different reasons. And I'm going to share with you what I do, how I make those decisions. Uh, there are going to be people who disagree with me, but that's, that's for a future video. So right now, uh, what happens if your computer can't handle the amount of uh, technology that it needs to support in order to do a webinar? Well, several things can happen. One is delays. This is the synchronization between my lips and what you see. So this can get out of sync because video takes longer for the computer to handle, to process than audio does. And so now all of a sudden you get the audio and the video uh, follows it. Uh, it can affect the quality. The computer itself might automatically decide to reduce quality or just is not going to be capable of delivering high quality. So now your quality suffers. It may actually drop calls. So you may be in the middle of a webinar and the computer just goes, I can't handle this anymore. Uh, this can be um, things like uh, the computer even may, may even crash. Uh, in the middle of a webinar and, you know, I, I knock on wood, didn't happen to me uh, lately, but this is something that, uh, that can happen if your computer just can't handle it and just gets out of resources. And, and finally, the computer may overheat and not to mention that it can shorten its life, but it can just get the fan into operation. And when the fan operates, the microphone may pick it up and now you have some undesired uh, background noise. So with that, I'm going to show you several places. And, uh, you know, the, the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to share with you one of my screens. And so this is this is a screen. And uh, I'm not sure if you can see clear enough. So let me just take the entire screen here and show you this is OBS. And I want you to look at this corner here. And there are two numbers that I want you to look at. One of them is the CPU processing time or, or CPU processing load. And you can see that in my computer right now, it's 2.5%. Uh, sometimes when I do things that are more complex with OBS that requires more processing power, this number can go up. I went as high as 14%. So 14% of the computer capability went to OBS. Now, another part that's important is this 30 frames per second here. Now, that means how many images constitute a video? Is it 30 frames per second or is it 60? Our eyes will not sense something that's choppy if it goes faster than 18. I think the lowest you would probably typically go would be 24. Uh, 25, 30 is kind of the industry standard. You can go 60, and sometimes you may be tempted to go 60 frames per second. You're just doubling the processing power required from the, the CPU, the, the computer. CPU is the central processing unit. Uh, you may double the amount of power required from your processor or from your computer uh, without any real need because nobody needs more than 30 frames per second. I mean, 
probably not even higher quality broadcast these days. So this is one place that I want you to look at and see. First of all, make sure that you're at 30 frames per second. If you're not, change it from 60 to 30. Don't go above 30. And the second is how much processing power are we really taking? So we're taking 3.2 right now, 3.5%. That's not a lot. The other thing that I want you to do is go to the system tray here, and it doesn't matter which one of the screens, right click and go to something that's called task manager. This window is going to open up. This is the uh, uh, minimized version of task manager. And what I want you to do is click on more details. And when you click on more details, you're going to open a bigger one. And here you're going to see the performance of your computer. First of all, these are the applications that are currently running. You can see that I have quite a few running. I have Edge as well as two uh, Google Chrome windows. In fact, you can see that there are 50 tasks. 50 background processes associated only with Google Chrome, uh, four PowerPoint uh, windows or tasks that are open, two Word, uh, two uh, OBS uh, windows. So there, there's quite a bit, and this is what's running. The numbers I want you to look at are the numbers here on the top. We are currently using 40% of the ability of my laptop in terms of processing power. 86% of the memory not a lot out of the disk, not a lot out of the network because we're really not handling a lot. My computer is a gaming computer, so it has something that's called a graphic processing unit, a GPU. Typically, it's something that's coming out of companies like NVIDIA or companies like that. And I'm using 19% of that. And especially with things related to video, having a graphic processing unit or GPU helps. You can see that I'm doing okay right now, but if I had a lot more processes running in the computer, it might be a little too much. Now, one way to know which processes are the ones that are taking a lot is to actually click on the top here. So if I'm going to click on CPU, it's going to put on the top the thing that is using the most. Guess what? The most CPU, 20% out of the CPU right now is used by something that's called Kinoni. In Kinoni, is the app that allows you to see this. Let's go back. That's the uh, app that's running, that's connecting my uh, iPhone as a uh, the fifth camera. I can click on memory and see that Google Chrome takes a lot of uh, memory here uh, out of, you know, out of the 86% that's currently being used. Uh, since Chrome is using so much, then I guess reducing this number uh, could happen if I start closing the windows and frankly, how many windows do you need open when you're doing a webinar or delivering something? Uh, how about the GPU? GPU, I kind of expected that, is used mostly by OBS. Well, we're not going to shut down OBS because we need OBS for this. One last place I want you to look at is if you go to the start button, uh, over there, you'll see the cogwheel settings. And if you open settings, there is system. And if you go in system, go all the way to the bottom, to the about, this would give you kind of a look of what you have in your computer. So I have a Dell uh, G7. It's a gaming computer. 7588 is the model number. This is what I call it. The processor that I have is an Intel Core i7 8750H CPU running at this speed, 2.2 gigahertz. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM uh, available to me. Doesn't give you a lot more. It is a 64-bit operating system that typically runs faster than a 32-bit operating system. But it gives you a good general sense of what you have in your computer and how your computer is being used. Uh, so I showed you that. I showed you how to see uh, the uh, what you're using out of your computer. As I promise, in the future, hopefully in the near future, I'm trying not to do one, more than one video a week. I'm going to shoot a video on how do I choose your computer. So, or my computer. How do I choose my computer? Use it or don't use it to choose your own computer. And I know that there are going to be people who disagree maybe with some of the things that I showed. But I'm going to shoot a video on that uh, nevertheless. Uh, that's all I have for you. Make sure that, you know, those are great tools that I'm using and, you know, all the capabilities that you see in how I use Zoom, for example, uh, to have different scenes and, uh, you know, move uh, along the scenes, uh, put myself in a smaller window, 
um, or make myself look like I'm uh, speaking to you from an iPhone uh, or, or anything else. Uh, all those things uh, are things that consume processing power. And if you're doing them, and, and I recommend that you do them because this is how our audience engages with us, uh, uh, not just what is what the content is and how passionate we are in delivering it, but also uh, the, the technology behind it. What does it look like? So there are all these things combined, but your computer has to support it. So just take a look at those numbers that I showed you, those places, and see if those numbers are a little on the high side, um, either consider doing less things with the computer, making your scenes a little more simple, a little simpler, uh, or maybe upgrade to another computer, but at least you'll know if you need to. I hope this has been helpful. I'll see you in the next video. If this video was helpful to you, go ahead and subscribe to my channel so that you will get notified whenever I release another video like this, because I do it about once a week. Also, go ahead and check my Tech Tips for Speakers playlist so you'll see the videos that I already have recorded. And may trust be with you.